In this video, we'll learn how to export animated GIFs from Adobe Animate with a transparent background. The first thing we need to do is make sure our layers are ready to be exported. I've created a simple animated loop set up on a few layers as you can see over here. And right at the bottom is a layer called References. This reference layer contains images that I needed to look at while I was drawing, but I don't want these images to show up when I export. It's important to note that Adobe Animate will export everything, including hidden layers. If we don't want these images on the reference layer to be exported, we need to either completely delete the layer by clicking on this bin icon or turn it into a guide layer. To turn the reference layer into a guide layer, right click and select guide. This icon next to the layer name shows us that the reference layer is now a guide, which means that the images on this layer will not be included when we export our animated GIF. Now that we have our layers set up properly, let's go up to file, export and select export animated GIF. In the panel that appears, you'll see a preview of the GIF on the left and a bunch of settings on the right, which I'll try to explain simply so you understand what we're doing. The first drop down menu lets us select a preset. I'll go ahead and select the first option, but it doesn't really matter which preset you pick because we're going to look at each setting one at a time. Beneath the preset is the image file format, and this should be set to GIF because we want to export an animated GIF. Moving to the right, Lossy tries to reduce the size of your GIF by reducing the quality of your image. If you look at the bottom left of the preview window, you'll see an estimated file size based on the current settings. My estimated file size is pretty small at 150 kilobytes, so I'll probably leave Lossy at zero to retain as much information as possible and maximize image quality. But just to show you how Lossy works, let's bump it up to 100. And you can see that our image now looks a bit worse and the file size is also a little bit smaller. I'll change this back to zero and we'll move on to the next setting, which is the color reduction algorithm. That might sound complicated, but what the color reduction algorithm does is it generates the colors that you see here in this color table. Let's go over the four main options. Perceptual prioritizes colors that the human eye is sensitive to. Selective is quite similar, but it tries to include more web safe colors. Adaptive prioritizes the dominant colors in the image and restrictive limits the color table to web colors only. In my experience, restrictive usually looks the worst. So it's a matter of picking between perceptual, selective and adaptive on a case by case basis. In this case, perceptual, selective and adaptive all look quite similar to me. So I'm going to pick perceptual because it gave me the smallest estimated file size, but you should pick whichever looks best for your project. The next setting we'll look at is colors, which controls the number of colors in the color table. I want to export a high quality GIF. So let's pick the biggest number to retain as many colors as possible. Moving on, we have the Ditter algorithm and Ditter amount. Dittering adds random color noise to try and simulate colors that are not already in the color table. As a rule of thumb, Dittering is great for gradients because it reduces banding, but it's not as useful for flat colored animations or images like this one. So I'm going to select no Ditter. If you want to export your GIF with a transparent background, Make sure the transparency checkbox is ticked and select none in the matte drop-down menu. The color that you select here is used to fill in pixels that are not completely transparent. So having black selected here will result in a black line around the edges of your GIF, which is why we want to select none. The next two options are the transparency data algorithm and transparency data amount, which are basically the same as the data algorithm and amount, except that it only applies to the pixels that are partially transparent. I usually keep this set to no transparency data. Interlay saves a lower quality version of the image that is displayed on websites while the full image file is loading. Personally, I keep this turned off because I don't want anybody's first impression of my animation to be a low quality version. The final setting in this section is web snap, which tries to replace the colors in our color table with more disgusting web safe colors and doesn't usually look very good. So let's keep web snap at zero. Image size is fairly straightforward. Just keep in mind that Adobe Animate uses vector graphics, so you can choose to export your GIF at a larger size without losing any quality. For example, I could export this at 1920 by 1080, which is double the size of my document. This drop down menu below image size controls the anti aliasing that is applied to our image. None will turn off anti aliasing completely. And the main difference between art and type optimized is that type optimized prioritizes keeping text clear and readable. So you might want to select type optimized if you have text on your image. In this case, I don't, so I'll select art optimized. Finally, there's clip to stage. And I'm going to zoom out a bit in the preview so you can see what I'm talking about. 
Clip to stage crops everything outside the stage, which is what we want in most cases. If I turn it off, you can see that parts of the drawing that were cropped out before can now be seen in my export. And that's not what I want. So let's turn clip to stage on so we have a nice cropped animation. Now let's click save and we've now exported our animation as an animated GIF with a transparent background. If you're looking at your GIF and you think it's too big, it's 500 megabytes and you want to make it smaller without losing quality, you should check out this video next. Otherwise, thank you for watching as always and hmm, hope you found this helpful. Bye.